All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over the length and perimeter when given the area of a square. All right, go ahead and pause this video and copy down what I wrote in blue and also what I wrote in green. Welcome back. <laughs> All right, I'm given a square that says 36 feet squared. That automatically is my area. To find the length of one side, all you do is take the square root of the area. So the square root of 36 equals 6. So that means the length of one side of this square is going to be 6. To find the perimeter, I add up all the sides. So if this is 6, and so is that, and so is that, and so is that, I'm basically adding 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. And that gives me 24. So 24 feet will be my perimeter. Let's look at another example. As you can see, the area is 25. The square root of 25 equals 5. So that's the length of one side, 5 feet. To find the area, I'm going to add 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. And that will give me 20 feet. Let's look at another example. Here we have 9. The square root of 9 equals 3. So that means the length of one side will be 3 feet. To find the perimeter, I'm going to add 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, and that gives me a total of 12 feet. So that's my perimeter. All right, in this example, the square root of 10. Now hold on, wait a minute. 10 is not a perfect square. And if we try to break it down, it will just be 5 times 2. There won't be any pairs to take out. So I'm just going to leave it as the square root of 10. That's going to be the, be the length of one side. So that means this is square root of 10, this is the square root of 10, and this is the square root of 10, and so is this side. To find the perimeter, I'm adding all four sides. Remember, the coefficient of just square root of 10 has an imaginary one in front, right? So that's all you're adding. And there's four of them, so it'll be four square root of 10 because I'm doing one plus one plus one plus one, which equals four. <laughs> and let's look at this last example. To find the length of one side, I'll take the square root of six. It's not a perfect square and I can't break it down, so that's gonna be just the square root of six. That's the length of one side, feet. And then I know that each side is the square root of six, so when I add all four of them, I'll just get four square root of six. And that's it! 